Right, welcome everyone to Faversham Town Council meeting. Um, the Mayor will allow a maximum of 30 minutes for members of the council to receive questions from registered electors of the town before the formal meeting commences. When providing your name and address prior to addressing the meeting, please confirm or otherwise that you consent to your personal details being recorded in the minutes. Your personal data will be processed as directed by GDPR Article 5. This meeting will be recorded and will be made available on the Town Council YouTube channel. The whole of the meeting will be recorded except where there are confidential or exempt items. If any member of the public has an objection to being filmed, please make yourself known to the, the Mayor or the Town Clerk. Are there any questions? I've General just had a note in the chat that there's no questions from members of the public. No questions at all, so we can move straight on. Right, so we'll start the agenda with um, item one, apologies, to receive apologies and acceptance of reasons for absence. No apologies. No, everyone's here, brilliant. Item two, declarations of pecuniary and non-pecuniary interests. Members who have an interest to declare on any item on the agenda must declare the existence and nature of it at the start of the meeting and act in accordance with the Council's Code of Conduct, S27, Localism Act 2011. Are there any pecuniary or non-pecuniary? Absolutely not. So we can move straight on. Item three, draft budget report and earmarked reserves to consider and agree the final budget and earmarked reserves. I think most of you have got copies. Um, we're going to look at um, the civic on block, has anyone got any comments about the items in the civic section? Councillor Saunders. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Mayor. Um, I am not going to, and I know. Councillor Saunders, we keep losing you if you don't know. You're frozen. Yeah. 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 Um, but I, I think there's a strong risk that uh, um, unless there's a dramatic change in uh, uh, the pandemic conditions that we might not use all of this uh, budget. So I wanted to propose that the Policy and Finance Committee should um, monitor uh, expenditure against this budget very closely and if there are underspends, it should act promptly to uh, reallocate money to projects which will help um, the uh, recovery from the, the pandemic. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Saunders, unfortunately, I, I, I think most of us missed the beginning of what you were saying because you, you, you were breaking up. Yeah. I, I think you were saying for civic, though, just so I get this right, that it looks like we're on a trajectory to underspend and that there is likely to be some underspend next year because of COVID. So as a consequence, you would just like the policy and finance to monitor underspend and be able to reallocate that spend appropriately. If, if yeah. necessary. Is that right? Uh, that's basically what I'm proposing, yeah. yes. Uh, um, Councillor Hook? I think that's a very reasonable proposal and I'm very happy to second it. Thank you. Could we all vote on that? Yep, thank you. Sorry, if, Ben, could I just check, uh, was there anybody against that or was everybody for? Yeah, everybody, was for. everybody was for. Mm. 
Do you think, Town Clerk, we could add that to um, the work in progress report for the Policy and Finance Committee? Because then we'll just remember to track it on a monthly basis. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Um, right. We can move on to the next session, staffing and... Oh, sorry, could I, could I just ask that um, you agree to that figure then? And if we agree each figure, um, oh, each right. session, we go yep. along, please. I'll propose okay. a second. Yes. Happy to propose. Thank you. Happy, happy to, to second. Thank you. And if we all vote on that, we're all happy with the figures in the civic section. My hand's disappearing. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And then staffing and professional. Again, if we can take that on block. Are there any queries or any comments? Um, Councillor Ben Martin. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, I've got a few queries in this area. Uh, first and foremost, the uh, salaries figure in the budget doesn't seem to uh, agree with what we've had on the uh, pink paper uh, which we'll be discussing later on so I just want to understand why that is the case um, and secondly obviously you know, we will be agreeing later on the staff salary positions in, in terms of the confidential item um, I'm not sure we can approve a budget until we've decided actually what we're going to do with it in many respects you know let's say that there's a proposal to increase salaries or decrease salaries whatever reduce staffing increase staffing further down the road how can we agree a budget before we've agreed that it just doesn't quite make sense to me uh, so if i can have clarification on the first point first of all as to why the uh, salaries figure doesn't match up with the pink paper figure um and then yeah We'll discuss the other later, no doubt. If you're happy, I can I can answer that question. Yes, please. The, um, the Realtus shows salaries and PAYE. So the, the pink paper figure is split between 4100 and 4110. But 4110 also includes um, part of, in, well, employers' um, contributions. contributions. Right. That explains that. And yes, we would normally um, agree this section in, in, in private, in private okay. session. So, um, so that question answered, we'll move on and leave that until the private section. We go on to office and administration. Yeah. Councillor Barker. To, 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 to Councillor Ben Martin's point then, we will agree each section here and only in the private session on salaries, having agreed it all in total, will we actually sign off the budget. That's the process, is, is that right? And that's what you're proposing as well, Councillor Ben Martin. Yes, that's correct. Um, if you look at item four, it's um, item four is um, to agree the precept subject to item five. Yeah. So um, in public in public session, you will agree a precept figure, but that will be subject to what you finally agree in private session. Are we all happy with that? Yes. So we can move on. Office and administration, that's on block. Everyone happy with those figures? Very close to last year. Councillor Martin. Councillor Barker or Martin? Oh, sorry. I can see Councillor Barker. Councillor Martin and then Councillor Barker. I, th I think Councillor Barker was ahead of me. I'll, I'll okay. Yes. Uh, I was going to propose we, we accept the budget figures. 
for, for this area, but, but perhaps Councillor Ben Martin wants to raise a question yes. first. Thank you. It, it, it's not a, a question so much as a comment, and um, <clears throat> I don't think it makes a huge difference. It's just to point out that um, it's a, a fairly minor thing. There is There appears to be a reduction in the postage and stationary budget for next year. Um, I think given that we underspent quite a bit this year, that's not a surprise, um, but it is worth bearing in mind that postage costs have gone up by 11% um, in the last month. Um, and it's just to, to bear that in mind for future as well. But given that you know, we did we haven't come close to spending this year's budget, I, yeah. I don't object to it. I just wanted to highlight it and you know make sure that people were aware that despite the increase, because we have underspent this year, you know, we're not likely, I don't think, to end up overspending despite the increase in postage costs. Um, lovely. Right. Thank you for that. Um, so, Councillor Barker, you propose we accept that section. Do I have a seconder? I'll Council second. Councillor Martin, uh, can we all vote on that? Thank you. The next section, I believe, is the Alexander Centre. No, there, there's nothing for that. We move on. No, to there the isn't. Is there? I'm just looking at it. No, that is all sorts. Okay. Um, the Guild Hall. Any comments on the Guild Hall section? Councillor Barker. Just a question, if I can, uh, only because I, I suppose at the, the, the budget workshop or the town clerk, let me refresh my memory, we've got other income of a thousand pounds, and I, I can't remember where we thought that was coming from. Yeah, that um, other income should actually be under the um, the market. Give us a uh, thousand pounds, but we've uh, so it just needs to be moved because we've actually added that as a separate item now. So they they pay a thousand pounds contribution. So annually. that's the market, right? For you, sir. Yeah. But if we approve it tonight within this context, it will just move to a different cost center. The budget will be be, be yeah. Yes, it will be the same, but it yeah. will just go under that different number. Thank you. Happy to propose we accept. Thank you. And do we have a seconder? Oh, hang on, Councillor Saunders, you were waving? Yeah, I just wanted to raise another uh, question, please. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's a query to the town clerk. It, it's in relation to elec electricity. It appears, despite the guild hall probably not being used uh, very much at all, that um, our expenditure on electricity has been more than the, the, the budget and we're, we're planning a, a, an additional increase in expenditure. Is, are there particular reasons why? Is that the heating now downstairs in number 12? No, no this is for yeah. the, the Guild yeah. Hall. Oh, um, well, yeah. you, you may remember at the beginning of the year we changed to bulb. Um, so there was uh, an increase where, where we've been paying monthly for EDF. We um, yeah. had to finalise the bill. So there was a, a larger final bill than um, anticipated. And um, and just um, even though we've not been using it, the market's yeah. using it. So um, it's just something that we, we are checking. So we are all fine with that, the rest of it. Councillor Williams. I'm happy to second. Thank you. No other comments. Can we all vote on accepting that section? Yep, got everyone. I think we've lost Councillor Jackson. No, I've got... Oh, yeah, we have. Oh, yes. Um, I'll just point that out. We have lost. 
The internet's a bit ropey. I don't know if anyone wants to give her a ring and see if she's all right. Shall we wait or move on? I don't have a number, but I'm happy to call her if anyone wants to read me out of a number. She uh, does get... I think Julian's phone, phoning her. Julian's doing that. Yeah, thank you. I, I think it would be courteous just to wait a little while to see whether she can yeah, come back. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, Councillor Jackson has, yeah, she's dropped out of the meeting. She's trying to get back on, but uh, she says she's quite happy for the meeting to uh, carry on um, in the meantime. Thank you. Right. So we're on to St Nicholas Road allotments. There's lots of norths across there. Um, on that first yes, one. That, that will come under the general allotment funding. Right, thank you. So we can move to the front wrench jetty and that section, that whole section. If I may just comment on this, at the moment um, I have assumed um, the offer that we've received of uh, leasing for an annual amount rather than us um, receiving moorings yeah. but that is still subject to agreement. Councillor Perkin. Um, can I ask a um, potentially stupid question on that point then? Um, is it possible for us to accept it as, as is if um, that's also subject to further discussion? <clears throat> Councillor Barker. Can I offer a few, few thoughts on that? I mean, it, it, it strikes me that really what we're asking ourselves to believe here is how much income we will receive. And it, it looks like in a year with COVID, we will receive two and a half thousand to three thousand from Belvedere. Um, and that's year to date, and presumably there is some outstandings for the rest of the financial year. And I guess the the question is, do we believe we, you know, will either get that or three thousand pounds, which is probably pretty much as is run rate for you, or three and a half thousand pounds? In the context of the wider budget, I think we can, you know, if if we choose to accept this but later don't agree. To that moorings then we are left with one and a half thousand pounds adrift in, in an income view so i'm not saying that's massively immaterial but it's it's not a huge risk for us to adopt would be my view but i welcome the thoughts Thank of the council saunders had a view as well. councillor martin on no, councillor saunders sorry yeah I, I mean i think in anything in a budget is a is a projection um I think you know, the, the, yeah. the, the point that Councillor Ben Martin raised about salaries was a query about the, the accuracy of the figures. Uh, yeah. So I think it's just providing we think it's a reasonable uh, assumption that the town can't. Any other comments? Councillor Perkin. I think Councillor Saunders was trying to speak, but he's... Um... I think so. Oh, was he? Okay. Yeah, Councillor Saunders? You're mute, you're mute. I think he's still frozen. Yeah. yeah. And Councillor Jackson hasn't got back in. It's not good tonight. Heads moving oh, again. 
Yeah, sorry, I got uh, got cut off. I don't know if you heard what I was saying. No, no. Okay. Um, I just, well, I'll try and say it again. I think I might log, uh, log myself back in in a moment. Um, I was just saying that um, any any kind of uh, projections about income or indeed expenditure are oh, yeah. projected Indica. projections. And it's just a case of us. I think if we think the, the town clerk's assumptions are reasonable, um, I think mm. it's quite reasonable for us to accept yeah. figures. Yeah, no, thank you. That's helpful. Yeah, thank you. So we've got a proposal to accept, have we, the front French jetty? Happy to propose we accept. Was that Councillor Barker? Yes. yes. And who's seconding? Councillor Martin, key Councilor Martin. Martin. Happy to. Thank you, Councillor Trevor. And can we all vote on that section? Can abstain, um, Mayor? Yes. Council, yes, Councillor Jackson. Thank you. And the next section is facilities management. That whole section. Oh, looks very... I had um sorry, not a minute. Yes, Councillor Barker. I had a question from a member of the public, which I think it's it's worth raising, um, which relates to the storage container, um, which we actually signed off the budget for this year, which was twelve hundred pounds, and obviously carrying that forward. Uh, and the question was why, why would we pay? Twelve hundred pounds for a container when we could, presume, well, we we're renting a container for twelve hundred pounds when presumably we could buy one for that money. I don't know if we got the land to keep it on, but um, you could answer, Town Clerk. Good, good question. Yeah. Uh, well, that is exactly the the question: yeah. is where yeah. would we put it? We did consider it um, and we did consider the only land that we do own are the allotments. Uh, St Nicholas wouldn't be any good because there's no vecular access. The, the only other allotments that would be any good would be North Preston, but we felt it wasn't appropriate for us to put, um, put one there. Uh, you know, we're, we're actually doing a really good job bringing those allotments back into use um, there's a really good community spirit there uh, and it's running really well so we are renting one at the moment um i'm mean, happy to have any suggestions if anybody wants to suggest where we put one councillor barker uh, to, to be honest i'm happy with the the explanation i thought i would raise the question as we talk about transparency and it's worth just being transparent i don't think there's a if, if we've explored, I mean, my, my, my view is that we should sign off the budget and if we can explore if there's something cheaper, that's great. But otherwise, yes, yes. we yeah. move forward with the budget. Sounds reasonable to me. Yeah, Absolutely. as I said, we, we, we did consider where we could site it ourselves, including um, renting a car parking space similar to the market does. Um, but that, that's a cost anyway. So this seemed the cheapest option at the time. Councillor Williams, were you wishing to come in? Thank you. Um, it, it wasn't related to the container, but it was um, under the um, 4125 uniform. I just wanted to, I know we have, there's no nothing budgeted for uniform. I just wanted to make sure that we're comfortable that um, I don't know. No, no uniform will be needed. You know, it's not, we're, we're not, uh, sort of, not an oversight in that. I know it would be quite a small figure, but um, just wanted to, to raise that. Make sure we're not missing that out. Um, Adam's just been kitted out with uh, new staff just now. Um, so I don't think he will need anything mm. for the next year. I mentioned that earlier, didn't yeah, thank I? Thank you. Thank you. And so if we're all happy, uh, and maybe if anyone does know a piece of land where we could buy and put a container in the future, they'll come back, we'll come back, come back on that. But otherwise, could we have a proposal to sign that off? 
Councillor Martin and a seconder. Councillor Hook. And could we all vote on that? Thank you. Next section is grants. If we can look on block at the grants. If I may just remind everybody, um, it's not shown on here, but I have asked for it to be changed. Um, it looks as though we haven't spent pop-up events and proms in the marketplace, but that has been fired for the new website. So mm -hmm. it just needs moving over. Yeah. Any questions on that section? Councillor Williams. Um, I'd like to propose that we accept these ones. Thank you. Have we got a seconder? Councillor Jackson. And could we all vote on that? Yep, I see everyone, thank you. And the next section is business support. Uh, there's nothing for that section. There's nothing, it's all naught. No. Thank you. And then the next section, um, I've got economic business development, but it's tourism, tourism development. On that section, are there any comments? Councillor Martin. Um, just one question on that one. I, I note that there's nothing on the marketing initiatives being placed into next year's budget. Is that because with the very small spend we've had this year, we're just going to roll over that money and use what's in the uh, reserves for it, or is there another reason for that? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Um, I, I have moved that money into your mark reserves for thank next you. year to be used thank you we've got it there thank you any other queries or comments no have we got a proposal to accept those councillor martin and a seconder Councillor Barker, and can we all vote? Thank you, I think that's everyone, everyone. And then the next section is events. Well, again, a whole row of notes. A whole row of notes. Uh, yes, just to make a comment, I think we've decided, yeah. agreed that there won't be any major events from this year and that the proposal is that the uh, transport weekend is in May 2022. We're also proposing a big commemoration for the Jubilee in the June, where I believe I think there's an additional bank holiday. So we're working towards 2022. Thank you. That all makes sense. So, um, can we just, yeah, uh, Councillor Williams? Uh, uh, since I think it all sounds sensible, so I'm happy to propose. Three. Thank you. Thank you. And a seconder. 
Councillor Martin. And could we all vote on that proposal? Thank you. Next section, public spaces. Madam Mayor. That's Councillor Barker. Thank you. Again, there's a question which I'd like to raise. Um, it appears as though we've got a negative figure of 14,584 in year to date on public spaces. Um, I wondered if that's because we've received any grants or something, but couldn't couldn't reconcile it. Is that possible to explain that? Yes, that's the the refund of the twenty one thousand, just over twenty one thousand for the fencing, yeah. um, and it was just shown uh, to come into public spaces. It's under earmarked reserves under the highways fund. Okay, great. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. And um, Councillor Thomas. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. I, I just wanted to check with the town clerk the. Six hundred pounds for tix pack uh, for the, the next financial year. Um, what uh, are we purchasing with that? It covers a two-year um, lease, basically. Um, we have them. It's every other year that they charge us, and it's a, a rental, and we get some bags with that as well. Okay, so the the, the previous years have just been spreading out um, the two-year cost. Is mm -hmm. that correct? uh yes yes well it was for additional bags if we needed to purchase any but right. we haven't needed to okay thank you any other comment no I'll be happy with that. Happy to um, propose. Mr. Barker. Happy to propose we accept. Thank you. Seconder, Councillor Thomas. And can we vote? Everyone. Thank you. So have we got the next section being special provision or net income over expenditure. Oh, where did we get? Minus 25. Are we happy with that? Councillor Barker. Again, on this area, I'd like to, to raise a question that was raised to me by a member of the public um, in, <clears throat> in the interest of transparency. I won't do asked and answered, um, but I know some of my colleagues might like to. It, it, it's fairly apparent that we had been um, making a contribution to earmark reserves on the matter of the swing bridge. So this year we contributed 11,500, I think to offset potential future public works loan against the £125,000 I think the council um, promised to support the swing bridge replacement. And it looks like we aren't going to put any provision aside for that next year. Um, I'm happy to give an answer to that question, but as I'm asking it, does, would one of my colleagues like to also give a view from the budget workshop? If not, I'm happy to. So essentially, um, the reason, and for recording for posterity, the reason that we aren't um, going to make a, a budget allocation for next year is that there is um, some doubt over the full cost of, of any bridge replacement and um, some lack of clarity over when indeed any bridge replacement would, would, would occur. And we felt as a council in the budget workshop, and I'm happy for people to, to correct me on this, but collectively um, that 
it wasn't worth taking funds um, away from the town at this particular time and putting that when it was such a sort of precarious position we didn't know the outcome either either in replacement or, or indeed some and so for this year and we've decided not to make a budget allocation on the swim bridge happy if anyone else wants to add anything to that councillor martin sorry thank you just just a, a quick question um i and i I'm just noting it really that we have still got the eleven and a half thousand in earmark reserves for that. It's just that we're not adding to it this year. Is that correct? I'm almost certain that would be correct, but I'm just shuffling yeah, my way. Yeah, that is it. correct. It's uh, the eleven and a half thousand is in earmark reserves. Thank you. Councillor Hook. Thanks, Matt. I just wanted to speak in solidarity with what Councillor Barker said. We as a council, I think every single member of this council feel really frustrated that this bridge still isn't with us. And every meeting we have with the KCC engineers or KCC officers, um, with RMP recently, we've, we've expressed that frustration and pushed them to get on with it. We still don't have the designs that were promised in October and then promised in January, and as far as I know, still haven't hit our inboxes. And Simon Jones, the Director of Highways, was quite frank with us that there is no realistic prospect of work beginning in the next financial year to work in terms of actually um, a bridge being built. I mean, work is being done in terms of the supports being surveyed. They are They are now doing work they should have done five years ago um, and the choice for us is whether to add more money into our budget that won't get used for a year or to deploy that money in other projects in this budget that will really benefit the people of Faversham in this year rather than have the money dormant in a bank account so uh, we will get to this bridge I hope very much if we keep the pressure up on KCC and there will come a time when we may need a budget line again for it although what that budget line is 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 now at large because the till we get the designs and the estimates we don't know and promises that KCC gave four or five years ago are proving unreliable they admit that themselves but I think deploying the money elsewhere in useful budget lines for the people of Faversham is, is the right thing to do just now. Thank you. Any other comments? No. Um, Councillor Williams. Thank you. Um, it's, it's on a, a different line. Um, the, the, the Faversham District Community Lottery, um, we haven't budgeted there, but I think did we allocate some money from, divert money from another, something else for, for that? Is that, that's why it's not each year, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And I can just look back. Just bear with me and I can tell you where that's Thank been you. moved from. Right, so um, f that's been fired from the food festival and special projects. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And and the other amount for yeah. um, was the pop-up events and the proms in the marketplace. Yeah. Are there any other comments or are we happy to move forward? We need... I think propose we accept. Thank you, Councillor Barker and seconder, Councillor Williams. And can we all vote to accept that section? I shall have to abstain again because I dropped out for a while. <laughs> You're coming in and out, Councillor Jackson. Mayor, I wonder, would it help um, the bandwidth? I know sometimes on calls people say, if you're not speaking, turn your camera off. And maybe that would help the system work and not cause problems in terms of people freezing or dropping out. Good try. Thank I'll you. Second that, but it would mean, of course, we'd need to go round robin on the uh, voting. Right. 
Well, we could turn our cameras on just for the voting, perhaps. Until I freeze out again. <laughs> but yeah, no, no worries. Okay. Still, going. still got Kemp's though, Jackson. No, we've got you, just not the picture. I haven't got your you know, on screen. Shall we take this vote and then turn our cameras off? Yes, that's probably better, isn't it? Let's just get the vote. We had a <laughs> proposer, seconder, and vote. Have we all got, we're all voting on that. Can't see Councillor Jackson. Is it a yes or no? I think she's Councillor abstained. Jackson. I said yeah. I'd abstain because I've missed most of it. Okay, lovely. Thank you. C could I ask that when you speak, you also turn your camera back on, please? Yes. Thank you. Right, we'll move on to special provision. The whole section. Uh, we've just done that one. Uh, we're oh, yeah, on that, 12 sorry, marketplace we're... premises. Please. Yeah, that we are, sorry. Are there any comments, Councillor Martin? Can I ask why there's no uh, budget for maintenance of uh, 12 marketplace premises? I mean, I realise that they are relatively new and wouldn't need a vast amount, but presumably once we get back into use and maybe exhibitions and things, there may be some damage that needs to be repaired. Uh, and I wonder why we haven't budgeted for that. Uh, only an attempt to make the budget add up, but we can also um, earmark the unspent money from this year as well. Unspent, yes. Councillor Barker. Yeah, I, I was I was going to say exactly the same. That it looks like, you know, even on the current trajectory, we're going to we're going to carry a four thousand pound surplus into next year on on this year's maintenance. So mm. that could be pushed to be marked with those. Should cover it. Yes. Thank you. Any other comments? Happy to propose we accept, unless there are any other thoughts. Thank you, Councillor Barker. Do we have a seconder? In terms of another thought. Oh, sorry, another thought before we second it, okay. We, 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 we do appear to be budgeting less for water next year despite having overspent on water this year on a higher budget. Um, have we installed some devices to reduce our water consumption? Yeah, we currently reported a leak and um, we're just waiting for that to be dealt with. So we are expecting a refund, but um, it just takes a little bit of time. And um, at the moment, the, the leak is still active. Uh, we are chasing it but the meter is just going round and round and round. Um, so Adam is on the case, but uh, I anticipate a refund and also hopefully less, less water bill because, yes. you know, we're not using any water, basically. No, no cups of coffee, no washing hands in there, no, no, so you're not using the water. No. Okay. Right, so we have Councillor Barker pr proposing we accept. And was it Councillor Martin? I've lost, I've lost the pictures now. Not sure who was seconding. Or are there more queries? I can second, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Martin. So that section's done. So now we need to look at Capital projects. Could we just vote? Oh, so we need to vote. Yeah, sorry. Uh, and we've just lost somebody again. Who have we lost? I think Carol, Councillor Jackson again. No, she. Well, she's frozen. I think. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Councillor Thomas. Councillor Thomas. Yeah. Coming yeah. back in. <laughs> what is happening tonight? Um, Are <laughs> we? Yeah. Are we all there now? Councillor Thomas in? Yep. So can we just vote on that then? We've had our proposal in seconder and propose to accept. Thank you. 
Yeah, Councillor Hook, thank you. And so we could move on to section capital projects. Um, I believe we've completed that section now, so we need oh, sorry, to look at yeah. earmark reserves. Earmark reserves. Can't, Madam May. Sorry, Councillor Barker. Um, again, I think you, well, I'm certain you answered this earlier, Town Clerk, but um, the question was uh, about the highways fund, what it related to and how we'd accumulated £21,000 a year. Um, and I think your answer was it was the refund on the fencing we'd erected around the allotments from Swellborough Council. Is that right? That's correct. Thank you. That was the fencing, was it? Yeah. I did query the twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand pound for the Magna Carta, but that's, I believe, from Edward Vincent. Is that right? No, that's the no. That, that particular one is the unspent amount from this oh. year's budget that we will carry okay. forward. And then we can put. I'm going to try and get in and raise the. Are you there? Councillor Saunders. OK, uh, thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I wanted to make a proposal in relation to um, uh, EMR 330. Uh, yeah. Highways. Fund. I think uh, Councillor Thomas was going to make this dropped out. Um, of the oh, uh, right. of the meeting temporarily, right. um, the um, uh, three three zero is uh, a refund, as I understand it, from um, KCC for a highways project that isn't going ahead. Uh, the pr proposal that um, uh, Councillor Thomas wanted to make, and which I was hoping to second, was that this money was um, reallocated to uh, the uh, twenty. 20s plenty budget to be used for um, improvements uh, in uh, road safety and uh, 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 improvements for pedestrians and, and cyclists, uh, regardless of whether um, the uh, current uh, experimental scheme is approved or not. Uh, I think there's a need to um, invest uh, in uh, greater safety um, on the uh, on the town streets uh, and certainly if the experimental scheme is approved um, although we are going to get some additional money from KCC we we will need um, capital sums to to do some of the improvements uh, that the committee started to discuss so I wanted to propose that that uh, 330 was reallocated to uh, 341 Thank you. Three, four, one. Thank you. And Councillor Thomas has just messaged to say he will second that proposal. Councillor Irwin. Just, uh, just got a question about it, really, uh, before we vote on it. Does it make much material difference? It's quite interesting what you said, because clearly if, if the, um, the experimental traffic order is, is approved and it becomes permanent, uh, it would be spent under a 20s plenty heading. If it isn't, then it wouldn't be. What, it, what is the adverse consequence of leaving it in 330? Because high, pedestrian safety improvements would fall under highways mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. wouldn't, I'm just not quite sure the benefit of switching it. Councillor Saunders. I think the, the benefit of um, confirming it under the 20s plenty budget is that when we're in discussions with uh, Kent County Council and also with the scheme designers, Phil, Phil Jones Associates, if we're clear on the budget that we've got available, we can actually um, en you know, enter into proper negotiations about what, what's going to be purchased with the budget. If we're not clear that this money is allocated to the 20 mile an hour scheme, it leaves kind of a lot of uncertainty in having those uh, discussions. Okay, thank you. That's that's yeah. Thanks. 
That's a good explanation. So we're, we're all happy with that now. Are there any other queries on the rest of the section? Do you need to vote on that? that, that? We do need to vote, yes. Can we all vote on that? We had our seconder was Eddie, Councillor Thomas. <laughs> Can't see him. Thank you. So, sorry, before we go there, before we go there, this, I think this is an important point, just because I don't want the record not to be corrected. I'm perfectly happy to support the proposal, so it's not about that at all. No. Um, but Julian, I think, was quoting Eddie, um, yeah. I could be wrong, in saying that the £21,000 in the highways fund was something refunded by KCC, whereas I thought before Julian, I got in that I repeated what the town clerk said earlier, that the £21,000 was actually a refund by Swale Borough Council for fencing around the allotments that Faversham Town had paid for. And yeah, I thought that money's being available. And for the record, I just think it's worth just being, being straight on that. I think you're may right. I, may I just yeah. confirm, the, the original money came from uh, the previous KCC members budget. Um, it was given to the town council for a highways project that didn't go ahead. So at the time when we got the fence in, it was agreed by the council to um, allocate that money for fencing with the view that Swell would be paying us back. So it's very complicated, but the yeah. original money came from the KCC members grant for a highways uh, project. Uh, at that time, uh, KCC were giving out funds for specifically for highways projects, which they don't do now. Um, so that's where the money originated from, which is why it's gone back into Highways Project. So are we leaving it in the Highways Fund or are we putting it in 20s penty? It's just been agreed to move it into the 20s penty. Yeah, that's what I thought. Lovely. Great. All right. We're all in agreement. Did we all vote and agreed on that? Yeah, I think we did. If we didn't, we'll vote again. We've all agreed. Right, that I think is the last item there. Councillor B. Martin, BJ, is it? Oh yes, congested. We're not quite finished yet, Madam Mayor. We haven't oh. voted through all the earmark reserves yet, but uh, before we do, I just want to query the uh, earmark reserves for CLT. Uh, is that for community land trust based things or am I confusing it with something different um, with another CLT abbreviation? Uh, yes, that's just been carried forward from the year previous. So yes, well, community land trust, yes. I, I would just point out that the figures in those columns are obviously based on the, the figures now um, yeah. and I know that the neighbourhood plan is still spending money, for instance, um, 20 plenty is still spending money. So it's as is at the moment. It will be further agreed uh, in April once all the payments have gone through at the end of the year. Thank you. So are we ready to move on to item four, precept? I'll propose that we accept all the earmark reserves as now okay. amended. Thank you. I'll second that. Yeah, and we all vote on it. Thank you. <laughs> Councillor Martin, we've gone. <coughs> <coughs> Councillor Trevor Martin, no? Can't see you now. Is everyone happy to move on? Sorry, right, no, no, just voting like you are. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Slowly the end there. Thank you. We've got frozen. Thank you. So we're on to item four precepts. Are there any queries? Anyone wishing to 
Councillor Hawke. Not so much a query as, as an observation, Madam Mayor. I think it's a really good thing that we're going to be able to effectively freeze the Faversham part of the council tax. The county part of the council tax will be going up by 5%. I don't know what is happening with the police authority, the fire authority and the borough council, but this is financially a really difficult time for families in Faversham. Family bills are going up and up. The supermarket bills are going up. The utility bills are going up. Council tax is a really unfair tax. It takes no account of your income level. It's not progressive like other forms of taxation are. And last year we we did put up the precepts, but it was for good reasons. Mm. It was money that we were able to invest in really good plans and money that we didn't spend because of COVID is rolling over to next year to invest in really good things to make life better for people in Faversham but I'm pleased that this year we've not had to increase it. And that's going to help families um, who are balancing their budgets and facing pressure at the moment in Faversham. Well said. That's absolutely right. Anyone else? Um, Councillor Martin? Yep, and, and I concur with Councillor Hook on that. Um, I would point out that we are one of the few areas within Kent, I think it is, where the tax base has actually increased. Um, even, even in Swale overall, the tax base will be less next year than it was this year um, due to the calculations. So um, part of that is down to additional occupations within uh, both new developments, previous housing, uh, and part of that is because uh, we don't have as high a um, council tax benefit claim rate in this part of the borough uh, as there are in others. So. Um, it's a privileged position to be in, in some respects, because that's what's enabled us to keep it frozen to a degree, as well as prudence on behalf of this council. Uh, so uh, well done to the chair and uh, vice chair of uh, finance and uh, policy and finance and to the town yeah. clerk on a budget that is uh, balanced and uh, prudently done. Well done. Thank you. So we're all happy to accept. Did I get a proposal? Yes, Councillor Barker. Oh, I was happy to propose we accept the retaining the precept as it was last year. Yes, thank you. Unanimous. Great. Right. Thank you. Is that okay now then, Town Clerk? We move into private session. You're on mute, Town Clerk. Thank Can't you. Do. Yes, if we could just resolve to go into private session. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're happy to go into private session, everyone. I'm happy to propose that, yeah. Yeah, propose, seconder. And in we go. Everyone, I can't see the bottom row, but hopefully they're, yes, got them. Everyone's hands up. So we thank the general public that are in. Um, and uh, we're moving to private session. Thank you. Good night to Blick. Pink paper. Can I propose that we have a two minute break, please? Um, definitely. Can